So back in 2018, the University Council tasked us with trying to think about how we could significantly grow and transform uh, STEM research on our campus. I think Warwick's in a really good position to lead by example. We have world leading experts in a lot of subjects. We have solutions to a lot of problems the world faces. I build data management systems so that AI researchers, AI practitioners can focus on developing the models and better mathematical models. So my work centers around trying to find a pathway towards the confirmation and characterization of habitable alien worlds. We're looking at um, developing measurement techniques to look at essentially material science of the brain. Working closely with plastic surgeons at uh, the local hospital. And that is linked to um, spinal cord injury sufferers and uh, something called functional electrical stimulation rowing. We're looking at the way the brain changes in various diseases and what we can what we can measure that hasn't been possible to measure before. My fundamental area is polymer chemistry and for most people that means uh, plastics. But polymers are uh, integral to uh, everything we do. Making uh, your gearbox oil work better, to your, um, make your hair straighter, to um, delivering drugs through your skin. So it's trying to improve the quality of life for spinal cord injury sufferers within their own home and this is something that could be used anywhere across the world in developing countries as well. The big underlying thing with everything we do at the moment is to make things more sustainable. Really it comes back down to the age or the old question of are we alone? Are we alone in the universe? Is life on earth unique? Like where is our piece of the puzzle in this cosmic history? I think the, the absolute ideal situation is in 10 years Warwick is seen as a centre of excellence for fighting global challenges. Recognising many different ways of working and having a space that enables that is going to be really powerful for the future. Fighting climate change, reducing our carbon footprint, bringing out cleaner, greener technologies that work in our local area and work on a much wider scale as well. All of these things that are likely to transform all of our lives over the next 20, 30 years.